hard. Serious. That was easy. <laughs> that sounds fun. That is. <laughs> this is a squirrel, a type of squirrel that lives in Africa. There's Africa. There's where the elephants and the tigers and zebras and ooh, all those fun animals. These guys are often found as pets. They're used as pets. They're very kind. They're very friendly. They love to eat fruit and vegetables. We should all be eating our fruits and vegetables. So they have a very well-rounded diet. They're and when you healthy. say that people have them as pets, I wonder if they would put them on a cute little leash and take them for a walk. Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be so cute. I would love to walk around a squirrel. That would be great. They mm -hmm. dig burrows at night. They like to dig holes under the ground to sleep where it's nice and cozy and dark. But it's the zeros. They kind of look like a groundhog. I mean, a, not a groundhog, a prairie dog. Oh. And ooh, ooh, what's the animal when you go to the zoo? Mm -hmm. I need some help, friends. I'm going to describe it because I can't think of it off the top of my head. But you go to the zoo, and at the Oakland Zoo, kind of down by the monkeys and the hyena, they have a little area, and they're always out perching and looking, and they're frozen. And I even want to say maybe one's in Lion King, but I can't think of what the name of it is. Oh, and I can't like, remember. Prairie dog. But do you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> if you can figure it out, let us know. Send yes, us a text. <laughs> this one is called a Ziphosaurid. Oh. Sounds like a dinosaur name. It does. Ziphosaurus. Oh my goodness. So this guy, he lives, Ziphosaurid. He lives in the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. So on this side of our world and this side of our world. And they are a type of crab. Un there's the top of their shell. And underneath, they have six pairs of legs. Six legs? So that's actually 12 total. Wow. Yeah. And four wow. eyes. Four eyes! Wow, can you imagine if you had four eyes? I would like two in the front and two in the back. That would be great for me. Then I can see when you guys are sneaking up on me. <laughs> so these guys, um, they have a long, what they call a spine, but it's like a sword. It's what God gave them to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. So if here comes a shark, oh, 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 he says, oh no, no, poke with his sword. <laughs> and it protects them from big animals. Oh my gosh. So Miss Jennifer, if I see one of those, mm -hmm. because it has a sword and a spine, I'm noticing it's kind of like a stingray. So can it hurt me like a stingray could? Like it would defend itself and sting me just because it maybe was scared? Absolutely. Mm. You know, all wild animals have a way of protecting themselves, and they are wild. So they look at us as something that could be scary for them. So we don't pick up any wild animals. If you were in the ocean and you did see a ziphosaurin or a stingray, we just look with our eyes, right? Because yes. we would probably scare them. We look like a big giant to them. <laughs> the ziphosaurin. And our last animal is the x-ray fish. An x-ray fish? Oh, that we were just talking me. about x-rays. Yeah, that makes me think, is it an x-ray fish? Because you can like see through its skin? Exactly. Oh, you my. can see right through the skin to see its bones and its heart and all the other body parts that this fish has. You can see it through their skin. Thank goodness we don't have that. I think that would be kind of strange and cool at the same time. It would be. To see everything. I don't know that I'd want to see all my inside. No. No. I wonder how thick its skin is because if it's transparent, meaning you can see through it, it has to be sheer and kind of thin, I would think, but then I strong would enough to protect itself. Yes. God was super creative creating this guy. The x-ray fish. Now the x-ray fish is found in South America. That's the country underneath our country, the United States, is down here. So we won't see these fishes unless we go there to visit. But they eat plants and worms and bugs. Hmm. And they lay 300 eggs at a time. Wow. Ah, that's a lot of eggs. That is a lot of eggs. A lot of fishes. That is a lot of fishes. And friends, when you're at home, if you have a globe, and it's round and you guys can follow along or maybe check it out and see where all the countries are around the world. It's pretty amazing to see where we all live.
We live in a big no. world. We certainly do. My pitcher is almost dry and I wanted to share with you and hopefully you can see it. But I drew, it says, we love you and a heart and two people. I drew Miss Jennifer and I, stick people. Yay! So I was thinking when I was doing this, we chose gray, but you can use, or black, so that it can be like an x-ray, but what if you use dark purple or dark green, red? All the colors. All the colors. You can do rainbow colors. Oh, that would be really mm -hmm. fun. Mix mm -hmm. it up. Show us your pictures. If you guys choose to do this project, please share them. We love how you guys are chatting with each other. We love seeing the pictures that you guys are sending, so we know that you're doing your work at home. It warms, brings a big smile to our face, mm -hmm. warms our heart. Yay. So We love you. Yes. Well, friends, last thing, we got into a new month. <coughs> we said bye-bye, March, see you later. Now it is April. April. And April showers. Bring May flowers. flowers. We're gonna get a lot of rain, I expect. We have some today, I see outside, yes. so that our flowers can grow, grow, grow. They love the water that God provides them. So do all the animals that live outside too. So we are very happy that we have some rain right now. Yes. And today is one, two, three, four, four. April 4. You guys are all four now too, aren't you? I think all our friends turned four already. I think so. We don't have any birthdays left, I don't believe. Yay, big four-year-olds. <laughs> well, friends, let's say a prayer and we'll close out our circle time. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you so much for the rain, for the flowers, for all the animals of the world. Thank you for all our friends and family. And I know during this time that you are watching over us and you're taking care of us and keeping us safe and healthy and happy. We love you. Amen.